Hi there, it's Shell. Hi, Clint. And Clint. Hi, guys. I got a cat just jumped on me. <laughs> Hi, Artie. Oh, uh, you guys. Still hey. at home. Today's Monday. All oh. is well here. Um, hope you guys are well, too. I've been talking to a few of you guys online. And so far, so far, everyone's okay. Um, I do have a friend in Texas that her grandchildren are running high temperatures so hopefully that's nothing to worry about I but you were gonna say running amok no they're running oh, they're sick i guess the whole family's sick so oh, i'm hoping it's nothing again. you know nothing too serious i haven't really looked around to see what's going on and no. i talked to my friend up the road she's a teacher's aide and she's off for a couple of weeks yeah so i know things are going crazy but we're going to craft. We're going to have fun, right? Right, Michelle. Woohoo! Did I say yeah, hi? Woohoo! I think oh, you did. Is that better? Yeah. Good job, Daddy. Hi, guys. I don't remember if I said hi or not. Truth yeah, you said hi, and a cat just jumped on you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sewing the binding on the tan. Yeah, I just finished up. Well, Clint, sorry, guys. I don't know how this gets all flipped flip-flopped around but I do it so I can watch TV it gets a stuck under my chair and then I can't move my chair oh, I, don't and I bet you do oh, <laughs> can't deny it and I can't yeah you can't justify or you don't know yeah. okay I'm gonna turn it a little bit more sorry it's a three-legged um, thingamajig what's it called camera holder camera tripod. holder tripod ish thing for my light and so my legs get stuck underneath my chair and then I can't move my chair you guys know how it is okay guys uh, I've been promising you a TN series mini series it probably won't take all that long to do and I was going to show you guys so we're going to make a couple of TNs or at least one TN out of this paper pack um, I went and looked and I think I got this because it says Spring Parade. I did not know that it was like Easter. But that's okay because rabbits are fun, aren't they? They're also delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just couldn't resist. Uh, uh, that's one thing I cannot butcher as a rabbit. I cannot They're do too it. cute and cuddly. <laughs> So, Lisette said that she's got rabbits if she goes hungry, so. Yeah. She said, but there are pets. I said, I know. You can't really do that, can you? <laughs> so, we are going to use this paper pad is what we're going to start with. And then, I'm going to also make one using a, uh, a cover. So, I want to show you this paper pad, though. Isn't that cute? So, I'm thinking about putting him on the cover of this TN. Oh, I just love that. I think he's adorable. So, yeah. And, you know, it's Easter, so I need to use this up. I mean, it will be Easter, I guess. Pretty quick. So, I mean, they have beautiful papers in here. And since this is Blue Fern Studios, it's really heavy okay. paper, which is perfect to use. And then the other one we're going to use is this cover. And this one's kind of eclectic, so I'm going to use all different kinds of papers and stuff. You know, maybe some bright yellows, bright greens, things like that. So, kind of springy again. And I was just going to kind of show you how, you know, just give you the basics of making a TN. Now, TN is the first thing that I started with, and I made a lot of mistakes. But, you know, you live and you learn, <laughs> don't you, though? So, let me grab my... Paper cutter because you know how organized I am always. And we're going to work on this. Now, when you look up like TNs and things like that, you know, like all these different sizes show up and things like that, you can make them any size. But my typical size for a cover, I like the cover to be a little bit bigger, but you don't have to. And I think the typical size is like. You want to cut your paper down to eight and a half by eight and a half but i kind of like the cover to be a little bit bigger so i usually do about nine 
cut it down to nine by nine for the cover. So we're gonna go with that. I think that's what Clint's cover is. Yeah. And then like I said, this is called Spring Parade. And I keep it because there is a design on the back. So, <clears throat> it feels so thick, it feels like two, two pieces of paper. Did you need that other cover to show? So nine. Oh, we can. Is it in my thing? Yeah, I think we already showed it to him. I don't know. Nine by nine. And I know I want this guy on the uh, cover, so, you know, you just want to cut it the way so that you get it the way you want it. Oh. <laughs> so nine by nine. Isn't that cute? Are you being facetious over there? Don't make me smack you. It just doesn't look quite This is the other cover that... I might go ahead off camera and make a TN for also the paper. Since I'm going to be working on a few of them, I may as well. So yeah, this one's kind of dark blue with a yellow lace. And I'm going to need a flower or something fun for the cover. And then I love that. I think it's fun. But it's going to be all springy type covers. Because you know what? We need heat in spring. Right? Right. So... Those need three covers, drying. we need heat. heat. Well, heat. Hot weather. Okay. Uh, he's giving me a headache. I'm just saying we need it to get to be spring because they said it will help. Oh. Well, I didn't catch all of this. I, I should have taken it while, here. uh, I should have done all this while Clint was napping. Yeah. So now we want yeah. to work on, huh? Uh-huh, whatever. So now, let's think about what we want for the inside. What about this one? Let's see where, if I cut, because there's that girl right in the center. I don't want to, like, cut through her head, but I might have to. Let's see, nine. Oh, that might work. Okay. Let's cut off that edge first, and then we'll kind of get an idea. But yeah, kind of ready for spring, because you can't really grow a garden or anything until spring. Though, I think we're going to plant some things pretty quick. Oh, you guys. If I did nine here, no, this one would be eight and a half. So, if I did eight and a half, I think I would prefer this, because it looks more... Um, doesn't say anything about Easter, so let's do that. Because this one right here says Easter Joys down here, and this one doesn't. So that looks really cute. Okay, nine by nine, eight and a half by eight and a half. Think, Michelle, think. <laughs> and then all the cutoffs and stuff are perfect for pockets, things like that. Oh, okay. So yeah, those are your measurements if you're following along. Just an eight and a half sheet of paper. And then we're gonna fold this like this because this is gonna be our center page. And then this is our nine by nine. And this will be our cover. And you can definitely just leave it eight and a half by eight and a half if that's your choice. But like I said, I just like a little lip around the edges. So, that's cute. I love that. Fun, fun. Clint, Clint was giving me a dirty look when I said I was ready for heat. Is that yeah. what you were doing? <laughs> I was thinking, You're nuts, woman. Well, they just say that, like, the sickness and stuff will go away once we start getting some warmth and stuff. I don't know. I haven't really paid that much attention. I'm trying not to worry too much. The good thing about TNs is like when you take a, a um, paper that's eight and a half out of your book, then you can fold it and it can be in the correct orientation. So I do like that. Oh, look at this book. Oh, so pretty. This is called Tapestries of Life and it's from the 70s, I think. Yeah, 1974. So I was just going to see if they have like Easter. There's nothing in here. Like, there it is right there. But it's not in alphabetical order. <laughs> so, 
So let's do 151 Easter. He has risen. That's pretty. I wonder how. But I don't want Easter, do I? No, I want spring. I forgot. I'm not focusing on Easter. I'm just thinking. And that's why we didn't want you up there. But I'm just laying right here. <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> you lay there while I look. I'm looking for spring. <laughs> Jeez, oh, you guys, this little girl, I'm going to sell her to the biggest um, Not ready to. bidder. Oh my gosh, she has been driving me crazy. All night last night, she would cry and cry and cry. So I'd get up. And I would go talk to her and see what was going on. Uh oh, I already tore that one out. Okay, let's find something lovely. I don't know. But, I mean, she'd scream at the door. So I finally went in, got up, and went out. And I asked her, I'm like, are you okay? What's going on? Come over here and get some love. All that good stuff. And then, yeah. She's like, I'm just laying here. I'm so cute. Look how cute I am. Look how cute I am. So yeah, it was just... And so last night I was up at 10 o'clock, then 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and what time did you get up? 3 o'clock. I got up at 3. And I was like, I am not getting up. <laughs> I'm staying in bed. So yeah, it was like... Uh, just can't deal with this little girl today so let's see I just want like a fun um, oh maybe happiness or something that might be kind of cute rest I need the quiet that's how mama feels Sophia <laughs> she's like so cute yeah, she's not that cute all the time. I was say, I don't know if I say how cute that cat is. No, she's yeah. acting Stuck. like she's so cute. Look how cute I am. I'm she's so adorable. I'm so adorable. So I don't know. I mean, let's do this one. Summer's Day. Yeah, we'll do this one. I don't know. I'm just kind of... I don't want it to be heavy. I want it to be fun and cheerful, you know. So, you just want like a collection of different papers. Did you come to pick her up? Oh, no. I don't think she knocked anything else on, in the trash. Other than this. <laughs> so, this one's not going to be quite eight and a half. But what I like to do is just kind of cut the edge off where I ripped it out. I don't mind if it's not quite. And then we'll just cut this part down to eight and a half. But yeah, doesn't she look so sweet? But man, I was just like, I was telling Clint about it. And he was talking to me about her, but I don't know that he was awake. He was just like, because I was like, Sophia, would you stop? You're driving me crazy. And she's like, no, I don't care. Yeah, she got up and I slept in here at least since she probably would. Well, I could have, I should have got up and just slept in the living room. But, <sighs> Daddy wants you. Sophia Renee. Sophia. Daddy. Come here. Go see Daddy. Come here. Come here. What? What? You're in what? the way. What? Hotels just go over there. <laughs> Sophia Renee. Sophia. Come here. Don't know me. I'm getting tired of hearing no. You're getting an attitude. You know what? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Oh. It's like. You're oh so Lord. pitiful. She's fine. She's right here. She's fine. That is funny. Meow. She's making you work Meow. Cool right there. Yeah. Come here. Oh, I pulled my back. <laughs> okay, lay down. 
Okay, and then I like to <laughs> sorry guys. I like to add music because I think it's interesting. I like a bunch of interesting pages. I think you know it just kind of makes uh, the books interesting to have you know something more than just like coffee dye paper or whatever. So if you were doing the ones, you know, with the covers, of course, you would just cut it down to eight and a half square. Uh, I don't know, but I think I really need to love on her tonight before I go to bed. I think maybe you might. Because I don't know if that was the problem last night or what, but that man, I got no lot. sleep. Yeah, well, and that's what I was thinking. So. That it shouldn't have been, you know, like with you or whatever. Okay, somebody t gave me a tip on this. So let me put this under here. Just a scrap I probably wouldn't use. I'm about ready to ship you off to Grandma's room. We're going to have to ship her to somebody. Her Marilyn. Grandma. Somebody. Come pick her back up in spring. Oh, I tell you. going that way. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Doing a call, making some phone calls. Meow. I know people. <laughs> yeah. Can you drop this cat off for me? Where at? Uh, Grandma. At Grandma's house. Here's her address. Sure can. I tell you. Uh, it does work better, though, to having, like, another paper. Oh, I thought you said another person to occupy the cat. That helps, too. Another person to occupy the cat. Yep, yep, yep. But you know, we did that, shipped them off, and then you come back four hours later from Grand Junction saying, Take your bloody cat, I have <laughs> enough of that one. She won't shut up. <laughs> and she keeps telling but they me would, no. But they would love her because they wouldn't have the, the experience of her. You oh, well, whatever. Sophia Renee? Okay, I'm going to get another one. You're a big man. <laughs> I'm not I'm happy sorry, with that. You are a very loud cat. <laughs> You definitely don't have an inside voice. She does not. Clint tries to teach her. Inside voice, Sophia. Meow. Doesn't work, does it? It Sophia? does not work. Okay. We're going to try that again. I'm just going to cut it. Because it's not like super fragile. It's just a little bit thin and it's just not super fragilistic. What? Hey, it's how fast you can. <laughs> not necessarily how fun it is. Oh. <laughs> breathe, Michelle, breathe. Okay, let me grab my ruler, my hair ruler. Maybe I'll have a better luck. <laughs> oh, it's just that kind of day. Just that kind of day. Okay. Oh, geez. But yeah, it's just been, hasn't been a bad day today. Nope. Um, we do have to run do some work, which will be the day you see this, but Tuesday we have to run and then run to the grocery store. My sister said that there was a virus in this area, but so far we have not seen any report on the news or anything so I don't know I mean it seems like they would definitely report it if that was true but she's in a mood so not really <laughs> talking much to her she's had a rough few days <laughs> so it is eight and a half but I'm gonna tear down this side just a little bit just to kind of um, off the white edge but yeah so I don't know if that's true because they also said that Colorado only has has diagnosis diagnosed 160 I don't know they show the counties they're in and none of them are the counties here though. yeah or none yeah most of them are up uh, north so I don't know but you know they could have tested them and we just don't know yet too I was thinking of yeah 
you know, let's just do here and we'll try to make it work. So, so anyways, let's talk about something fun. Yeah. What? Sophia, huh? Well, and even when I was taking my nap, she is like screaming. At the back door, at, I heard At that. the door, okay. yeah. And I'm thinking, why is she doing that? I mean... I told her to shut up. But I don't know did it work? Her. I was just to say, because I kept calling her, because I sleep on the couch for my naps. And I'd fall asleep, and then she'd start crying again. So then I... Uh, <laughs> I had this. It's called Alpha Alphabet Cards Wall Art. I thought I'd look for a bunny or something. I thought that might be kind of cute. So let's see. But yeah, so I don't know. She was just screaming. Oh, not sure what's going on there. So L M N. There's a monkey, ladybug. That would be a cute um, spring, spring type. Let's oh, see. Thick. They're really thick, but that'll be fun to put in a journal, I think. Armadillo. Bear. Camel to who? Oh, a kangaroo. Dragonfly. Dragonfly would be another pretty one, because I still have like three that I'm, you know, pulling for, so. Yellow hammer. Exanthos, which I have no, no clue. Looks like a horse to me. Xanthos, huh. a vole, an underwing, which is a butterfly, I Did guess. You quit biting me? And then a raccoon. They don't have a bunny. They don't have a bunny, guys. Porcupine, owl. Did I already? Look oh, we that? saw one time. We saw those. Remember that baby porcupine? Yeah, I almost, almost stepped, stepped on, on it. it. Yeah, a newt and a monkey. Oh, I saw a uh, what do you call it? Sal Salamander. Yeah, it last week. Oh, did you really? Because yeah. we've seen a couple of them, but they love our fiber vault. Yeah, they get in there. The salamanders do. So I'll, I guess we'll use those. I was hoping we could find a bunny, but let's see which one we want to use for. For this one, probably the dragonfly kind of fits the colors. She is something, isn't she? She's so cute. She her head back. Mm -hmm. She's really funny. Like if I'm um, blowing bubbles or something, she's like. What is in your mouth, Mama? Yeah. And then I'm like, it is. And then I blow it at her. So funny. She's like, what is that? What is that? That's probably plenty big. Eight. That's nice. The thing with this is the back of it is um, shiny. So we'll see how that works. No, I don't think so. I'll see. Because I'll probably put pockets or something over it because you can't really write over it. And I'll kind of... But that would make a fun cover, wouldn't it? If it was the right size, you know. But I got these at a yard sale and I haven't ever used them. They're really thick. But I think it'll be interesting to put in this journal. No, too hard. No, it's not. Give me that look. I'm not giving you any look. I don't even know you what you're work. talking about. I think they know when you're giving me a look. They sure know when I'm giving <laughs> you a look. They, oh. they can feel the tension, they huh? Feel that. They can feel my look. You know, if you didn't have like a something for the center, you could do this. But I really like that for the center. Honey, you need to behave. Well, it wasn't. Okay, let's look at this, see what we can find. Mother's Day, but maybe we can find springy type something. Oh, yeah, so that's what's been going on here. Mainly it's putting up with Clint. 
You know what? They know I put up with you too. So. I don't know. No one's ever said anything. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no better than that. Huh? So hmm. than that. Oh, look at the critters. That's cute. Springtime at the zoo. Oh, that's adorable. My mother's garden. Okay, let's use that one. I mean, you're not going to be able to read it, but I'll know it's there. I'll know. <laughs> okay. We have this one, and this is from an Ideal magazine. We got these for like a dollar each at the thrift store. Really old, like 1950 something. So. Eight and a half. See, that's still going to be shy. So, I'll just do it right at eight. I put a new blade in too, so. Yes. I did. But I think some of this paper is just so old. Oh, maybe. And I know I want to cut this one down. Because I definitely want that bunny. Eight and a half. So, yeah. So, really what you're doing is just cutting papers, eight and a half, eight and a half, you know, and then just kind of using a mixture of papers. So hopefully we can see him, and we can. How cute. Yay. Oh, yay. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, is there another one? I was just looking at you just to see what was going on over there. There's a pretty garden. Lilacs. But yeah, with her, oh man, she was driving me nuts yesterday. So. This one has some writing in it. So I, typically I would only use like one from here. But I thought we'd just kind of look and see if there was anything else that, you know, we might enjoy to put in there. I typically aim for about 18 to 20 pages for my TNs. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that then. <clears throat> Let's just move on, move along. So, okay. We do have this one. This was just some really sheer paper. And it's just really pretty blue. How sheer is it? Pretty sheer. Oh. Yeah, it's almost like an onion skin or something. Yeah. And... I like to use it. I'm kind of getting low on it, so I figured I may as well go ahead and use the rest of it up. Uh, I think I'll wait and cut these down here in a minute. And we'll go ahead and cut these down. So I know it's kind of monotonous, but I just kind of wanted to talk you guys through making a TN. Sorry, there was a hair flying. Where is it? Oh, there. On a piece of tape. But, you know, most of it's just choosing your papers, cutting them down, and then we'll decorate it. So, that one, I do like to use ledger pages. I just think it adds interest. So, put that one there. I'm not going to cut that one down, I'll show you why. But let's go ahead and pick out fun ledger. I like to have plenty of writing because I tend to use like TNs to write notes on and stuff like that. So I think that's really nice to have tons of writing in it. This is another TN, not TN, ideal. This one is older and the paper that it has in here, it's really fragile. So it's made, whenever I fold them in half, they crack. So I don't typically use that too often. Does that help to 
scarf? Does it? It doesn't really, but if I put on like coffee dye paper or something, yeah, I could do that and then it would work okay. Or washi tape. But yeah, the scoring doesn't really help when it's that fragile. So, let's go ahead and fold this. I should have Clint over there making one, huh? No. No, I'm babysitting. Leave me alone. Hey, I have a project going on. I'm working <laughs> on my quilting journal. I can't tell because it looks like you're babysitting to me. Well, I am babysitting now. Yeah, boy, I tell you that, Sophia. Oh. Some days, guys. What you hush? Inside voice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. This one kind of has like a just kind of rolled edge. I'm just gonna trim that off. And then if I fold it like this, lengthwise, that's another thing is I like different heights and widths and stuff of paper. Move this for a minute. I think it adds more interest for sure. I don't want to hear this, so I'm going to get my key. Okay. So what I like to do. <laughs> ah! I told you to shut up. She's I'm trying like, to reach for my key. Put so much for inside voice there. She doesn't even care. She's just upset that Daddy moved. So then go ahead and fold it really? so that it can, um, you know, still you fit. Shuffle off to Buffalo. Shuffle off to Buffalo. So, are you rocking her? And then when you open it, you know, it just has a lip out. Oh, you guys are driving me nuts. Okay, so I think this is eight and a half. Yeah. I have two of them. I'm just kind of estimating. I think that will work, though. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, you can either cut them down or you can just fold them to size. And if you wanted to, you could even fold them up. Like, if you had a 12 by 12 and have, like, a bottom pocket. That's not my favorite, so... Not too sure about the butterfly piece. It's just really thick, but we're gonna make it work. Gonna make it work. It'll be interesting anyways. So then, let's kind of count. Oh, let's put a crochet pattern in it just because they're a good size and they're kind of nice to put in. Yeah, that's kind of nice. So, Yeah, we haven't had any work come in yet today, have we? Nope. So, I don't know if that's going to be like the week to come or what. That's but, what I'm wondering. But, you never know, I guess. Okay. Because we don't work around people, we work outside. So. Okay, so that's kind of kind of pretty. I like to count my pages and just see what we have. See if I want to add, you know, anything else like cutoffs or anything to add a little bit more interest. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, which is perfect by the time we cut down our coffee dye paper. So I do like to have about mm, about half and half or so. So let me get my of coffee dyed paper to um, kind of interesting paper. So, That's nine and a half. Okay. 
eight and a half. And these two I'll save as fold out. This paper is from GT Designs. I love her paper. Eight and a half. You can cut um, one of them in half and end up with two sheets of coffee dyed paper. <laughs> and then one more. Ooh, look at that one. Isn't that pretty? What are you laughing at over there? Oh, Arnold Forstenator is in self quarantine with his donkey and miniature horse. Aww. He just jerked me as funny. That's cute. Hey, I guess if you're going to be self quarantined, that's the way to go. Exactly. I'm going to grab my water. You got to keep your humor, huh? Oh, honey. I'm okay. <laughs> uh oh. I'm okay, guys. She is such a klutz. <sighs> That's oh, oh, fine. Okay, so probably about six will be plenty for, for this book, and I'll put us what at 18. I mean, let's see, it was 11, 6, 17. So, a couple of these I want to go ahead and fold in because I really like that and plus it gives us more more journaling I don't know if I like this it might just be too too thick that is so thick it is thick you know what I'm going to save it maybe I can make a cover with it or something <clears throat> it's just stressing me <laughs> don't be stressed when you're crafting just have fun uh, that's my store and I'm sticking to it. So I'm just kind of guesstimating about where I need to fold. So. What are you going to do? Work on it. Oh. Sorry guys, I know this is monotonous, but you know, it has to be done, so. Just to kind of show you, and if you're doing like three or four, you know, at one time, then just do all, pick all your papers, put them all in a pile, and go from there. Just kind of have fun with it. Pick your papers. This to me is, you know, my the fun part to me is decorating for sure. That's what I like to do is the decorating. So once you get done with this part, then it's decorating. So that'll be the fun part. But I was talking to my friend in the UK, Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Yeah, she's like. I just finished two T. How do you do them so fast? It's practice. <laughs> Definitely practice. I usually don't put so many with fold outs, but since I was talking and not paying attention, I will. So let's go ahead and cut this one down. <clears throat> and then we'll, that'll be what, 17? So, and then I want to look and see if there's anything else I want, like an envelope or um, a card, anything like that. So I'm going to go pull that right now so we can look through there because surely I have a bunny card, you know, I would think so. So I have a lot of cards. Okay, so I'm going to go pull that. And then we'll be able to start decorating. So let me go pull like, um, what am I thinking? Like special pages. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here's my cards. <laughs> uh, I'm organized though, huh? If I need to send out birthday cards or anything. <laughs> 
Uh, surely I can find a bunny. Ooh, this one's pretty. Let's pull that one because remember we're doing two other ones and no sense in going through here twice. That one's kind of pretty. And it's almost the right size. Actually, it is the right size. Okay, let's just do a little searching for bunny. For bunny cards. So I put most of my uh, envelopes and stuff on, uh, over here. And then my cards are right through here. There's a method to my madness. What's that? Puppy. Oh. But yeah, I think the biggest thing when you're choosing papers is just to, um, <clears throat> oh, that's cute. We'll put that one aside. Is choosing your, I mean, just going through everything and finding the papers that you want to use. Because you do want to, you know, just have some interest. So, isn't that cute? <laughs> Surely I have a bunny. There's got to be a bunny. But yeah, sometimes this takes the most amount of time. And, I mean, if you don't have tons of papers, then, you know, sometimes that's a good thing. Oh, look at the goats. Okay. But yeah, when I was... Sometimes I can get cards for next to nothing at um, your uh, thrift stores. Still looking for a bunny. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they probably didn't hear that. It was both. They probably heard you. Oh, that's pretty. Anything I think I might want for the other ones, I'm just tossing to the side. Just because. There's a bunny. Oh yeah, that's adorable. That's cute. Let's keep looking, see if there's any more. I know you're thinking, but Michelle, it's taking forever. I know, sorry. You can fast forward th through this part. Then you'd miss all the fun. What is it? All the fun, uh, yeah, drama between me and Clint. Not drama. What do they call it? Banter. Banter. Yeah, all the fun banter. Oh, there's bunnies. Those are cute. But they're. Um, oh, I think I want that one. No, those are mice. Never mind. <laughs> they had big ears. They look like bunnies. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, we'll just go with that one that we found. It's really cute. If I don't find another one in this handful. There's some pretty ones in there, huh? There are, yeah. Okay. But yeah, so I put them all in here, so I probably will not need a card for the rest of my life. Anymore, anyways. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have. Okay. That's really special, though. I kind of like that. That's really sweet. So, let's just go with that one. Uh, the other ones I have, I have this one. That's really butterflies. And But, if I don't use the bunny one in this one, I probably won't use it, even though I have a couple. So, that's going to be cute, because that could be a tuck spot. Cool. So, let's just put that, like, in the front. And then probably where I have heard the latest, I'll probably cover that up. But you know what I should have grabbed while I had that out? Oh, sorry. 
I didn't mean to kick you. Is an envelope. So maybe like a bright yellow one. Just because there's that yellow and purple. I thought I saw yellow. I do have a purple. Is that going to be too wide? I think that might work. Let me look real quick and see if there's any like smaller like long ones or something. Okay, Michelle. Sorry, guys. I can't see anything, but I'm here. I'll turn you like this. There you go. I'm right here. <laughs> Just kind of going through, seeing if there's any... I really think that would work. Is that the exact same size? Uh, I think I want the yellow one. Sophia? Mm. Okay, let's move back to her. <laughs> Sophia? <sighs> yeah, a little stinker. Now you could incorporate this like into the signature. It's got hair everywhere. Thanks a lot. And they're still shedding. So you could, you know, like put it in to the signature. Like this if you wanted to. I think I'm going to make it into a kind of flip out like I did on the brown one that we just did. And then... That way I can kind of maneuver it. And I think it will work. And it will kind of give a little bit of yellow. I think that will be kind of pretty. So I think that's all the um, papers I want in here. Though if you wanted to, like the cutoffs, you can kind of put them together too to make another page. You could either sew down them or you know, do any of that. Okay. Sophia, what are you doing? I tried, honey. She is just... She she needs loving, and I don't know why. I think you need to make sure to love on that little turd. Little turd. Little turd. So, um, I guess we'll finish up there. So go ahead and get your papers, get to this point, and then tomorrow I'll show you how we're going to do some decorating. We're going to have to do, if you want to do sewing, you want to do that first before you sew in your signatures. So, tomorrow we will make a fabric flip, and I'll see if there's anything else that I want to sew in, and then I'll show you how to bind it, and then we'll do the decorating. We might can do it all in one day. We'll just have to see. So, but yeah, so get to this point if you want to follow along, and... They will start decorating. I'm kind of excited about that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this kind of helped you with the, you know, easy construction of a TN. And yeah, we'll decorate it tomorrow. So I'm excited. Um, thanks for watching. Say say goodbye. Oh. Sophia, say goodbye. Meow. She's not going to talk now. Thanks for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more kitties because they're always here. And be sure and give this video a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>